Hi guys, today we'll do the color changing edge detect edge outline effect. Well, that's a very long name. So this is a clip of an Eiffel Tower on my iPad cover. Let's head over to the Fusion page. So I'll hold down Control and Space and I will search for an edge detect node. Then I'll connect this middle in one to edge detect and I'll click on this to split screen so I can have two viewers. I'll drag this here and I will change the mode from RGB address to grayscale address. This will allow me to choose the spe specific color that I want. And let me change the edge color to maybe this bright red. Then I'll connect the output of edge detect to the output of media in one, which will magically create a new merge one node. Then with merge one selected, I'll change the apply mode from normal to lighten and voila. Yeah. Now I'll select edge detect and here I can mess about with the edge width. Usually I'll decrease the edge width and increase the brightness and decrease the gamma. So now as you can see the edge detect is affecting everything. What if I want to just affect the Eiffel Tower? Well we can do that with a polygon. So with edge detect selected I will add a polygon and I'll draw a shape around the area that I want to target, which is this Eiffel Tower. And now you can see that there's a very harsh and sharp line around the edges. So we'll increase the soft edge to blur that out. And let's go to the start of the clip. So at the start, we want it to come out from nothing. So we will decrease the border width. So I'll set a keyframe at the start. Then maybe somewhere around here, I want the effect to be in full effect. So I will change the border width back to normal. So now the glow will slowly spread from the center. All right, now I'll select edge detect and let's say I need to change color over time. So maybe around here, I want it to be red color. So I set a keyframe on edge color and maybe around here, I want it to be blue. So I will change the edge color to blue and a keyframe will automatically be added. At here, I want it to be um, bright green and maybe at the, somewhere around the end, I will make it uh, bright yellow. So now we will change color over time. Let me just play it back. It's really laggy. So yeah, I'll speed this up, but it's changing color. All right. Now one problem that you might encounter is that the thing that you are targeting is moving around. So it might not always be in the center all the time. One thing you can do is to select polygon and to manually um, adjust the position of the polygon. However, um, since I'm lazy and you are lazy too, let's use a tracker. So let me just add a tracker between our media in one and our merge one. So I'm holding down the shift key and simply dragging it here to make it connected like this. And let's find a high contrast point. So this word here is perfect, Paris. Let me drag this here. And this dotted line is a searching area of the tracking. Let's just make it small. So then click on this arrow that says track forward from current time. So let's, let's do that. All right, then let's come to here and we'll do the reverse. So track reverse from current time. All right, so now what do we do? Let me just drag this tracker away. I, will, I was holding down the shift key as well. So now I select polygon and I will right click on this center XY on this word, then connect to tracker one, tracker one path and click on this position button. So now the polygon is tracked to the tracker. In essence, it's tracked to the word Paris that we tracked just now, but we want it to track to this bigger Eiffel Tower. So modifiers 
and we'll change the syntax y and place it above our Eiffel Tower. All right, now we are pretty much done. So let's go back to our edit page and play it back in full screen. Alright, that's all for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new, especially for the tracking. And also thanks for the 300 subscribers. So I really appreciate you guys. Um, please subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time.